Hey there, welcome to Man Runner. In today's video, I'm going to do this, the Brooks Hyperion Tempo after 300 miles or 180 kilometers. First, I'm going to tell you what I like about them, then I'm going to go through some comparisons, and finally, I'm going to tell you why I think this is my best overall shoe. I decided to make this video because I usually just compare the performance of shoes, a few other things, but essentially I'm interested in performance. But in this one, I'm going to talk a little bit about shoe wear and shoe value. I don't score the shoes that I review, but if I did, the Brooks Hyperion Tempo would win hands down or well, feet down. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why. I've been running in this shoe since January 2021, and I did a review shortly after I got the shoe, and I'll put a link at the end. But in this video, I'm going to go through some of the criteria that I enjoy about this shoe. Speed. Well, I made a video testing speed of various shoes, and this is my fastest non-carbon plate shoe weight at 251 grams or 8.85 ounces it's one of my lightest shoes certainly in the bottom three or four the shoe costs 150 euro or 150 dollars it's one of my least expensive running shoes the brooks hyperion tempo is one of my cheapest my fastest and my lightest shoes but they're not the reasons that i like it so much the first reason i love the shoe so much is the ride i find it very efficient it just rides along really smoothly and really efficiently. I use it only on days when I'm going out for tempo runs and runs around doing strides. My friend Liam, he's run a marathon in it recently. He's doing another one in a couple of weeks and he's probably then going to get a second pair. It really is a great shoe. I mean, the clue is in the title, Hyperion Tempo. Um, in lots of ways, you're looking at shoes and the design intent and how they match the design intent. And this one, the clue is in the title, you know, Hyperion Tempo. It is super for tempo days. The second reason I love the shoe so much is the wear or lack thereof. This shoe has 306 kilometers on it or 190 miles and there's almost no wear. I, I washed the bottom of them so you could see, but there's a little bit of wear there, but, but that's it. Other than that, they're immaculate. They're, they're beautiful to lace. These are the nicest shoes I've ever had to lace it. They just pull through cleanly and smoothly. This is the left shoe by way of comparison. Again, it's in perfect condition and uh, there's a tiny amount of wear there. I mean, it's, it's tiny. They really are fantastic shoes. I typically swap shoes out at about 300K or 180, 190 miles, simply because A, I've got a, quite a few of them. And uh, I also found that, particularly on some of the other shoes, the, the foam started to sag a little after about 300K. But I'll show a couple more here and we can have a look. The Hoka One One Mark IV, again, uh, <laughs> not cleaned up, um, but you can see it's worn, it's shaved off here quite a bit. The upper is in pretty good condition. All of these shoes, well, with one exception, have 300K on them. Um, and uh, this one has uh, worn, it's like it's sandpapered down. The upper is in, in great condition, but this, uh, yeah, this one wore on the outsole. I think for the next version, they might have changed the outsole a bit, but these, uh, wore a little bit, but they're probably a direct comparator, a direct uh, sort of competitor to the uh, Brooks Hyperion Tempo. Another shoe is one of the earlier models of Cloud Stratus. Again, the same amount. Um, it's worn a lot there. Oddly for my shoes, it's, it's worn up the top here and it's worn a little bit around there. So again, it, it wore a little bit more. Uh, this one, which I enjoyed running in, the Nike Invincible Run Flyknit, it's worn very badly through here. And uh, the upper is in great condition, um, but the, the outsole wore and then the side is a bit beaten up. I made a video where I sawed it in half and I bought a new pair of those, which I've never run in <laughs> since I made the video, because I'm reserving them from when I'm injured. And thankfully that hasn't happened. So a great shoe for when you're injured, but it wore a lot. And I noticed when I compared this particular version to the new one at 300K, I could really feel a difference in the foam. This is the A6 Metaspeed Sky. The original it's a great shoe i ran two marathons in it there's 200k on this it's worn badly back here that's the only sign of wear and tear really on it and that happened pretty early on it happened, seemed to happen to the edge and it also happened to the um metaspeed sky plus uh, a small amount doesn't really affect the performance terribly much for me but a, a great shoe but it does wear and uh, those kind of performance shoes i stop at about 200k if you want one shoe that's light fast inexpensive, long lasting and smooth riding. Who doesn't want a shoe like that? Then get this, the Brooks Hyperion Tempo, my best shoe overall. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it'd be great if you hit the like button. As always, there'll be lots of stuff down in the description below and I'll happily answer any questions that you put into the comments. 
there'll be a big blue subscribe button popping up there and some red videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.